one of the things that's exciting with you is that you're kind of this this next batch that you're doing stuff on YouTube, right? You're, you're definitely embracing and thriving uh, on, on social platforms, but you're also now... Have you have a show on HBO Max? Are you yeah. are you producing it? Are you hosting it? What what, what, what all is so that? So for season one, I'm just the host. Sure. Like I I went to a casting call and oh, wow. they hired me. <laughs> so I know uh, Laura DIY. She like executive produced and pitched her own show, which is so cool. Um, I was just lucky enough to, I don't know, I I guess get offered the job after an sure. audition. Um, basically I, yeah. So for me, YouTube, I see is just one avenue of business revenue as you do mm -hmm. as well. Um, and I think some people are like, I want a YouTube fame thing so that I can jump off and be on a TV show and whatever. Um, for me, I want to do everything. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I audition regularly for hosting and acting jobs and this is one that came through and I, I went and I did the audition. I loved it and I got the job. Karma is going to be the new kids adventure show on HBO Max and it's a survival show. Interesting. So yes, imagine 18 teenagers in the wilderness doing physical and mental games and challenges competing for $50,000 which is a lot of money when you're 13. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it, it follows a lot of the structure of a lot of the, you know, big, those kind of like experimental reality shows. Mm -hmm. But um, I basically commentate on all the challenges. I'm there guiding and counseling them when they fight with each other and stuff. Um, but it was an amazing experience. I mean, the things these kids did were insane. What's like, the age range? The age range, I think the youngest was 12 and the oldest was 15. So they're very young. Okay. And so when you say survival. Yeah. Or did you, I don't, maybe I'm saying survival. It's survival. <laughs> so they have to like stay at a place for a yeah. certain, for how long? Uh, well, if they last the whole time, it ends up being a month about. And for many wow. of these kids, it's the first time they're away from their family for an extended period yeah. of time. They, so we shot in kind of near Yosemite for season one. Um, and they live in these tents wait, in the wilderness. So wait, like are their parents there? No or? parents. That, so the this parents, sounds like amazing. I didn't even know you could, you would be able to legally do something like that with like child yeah. labor laws. That's awesome. So there was another show in like the early 2000s called Endurance, which was on mm. Discovery Kids. And I grew up watching that show, loved it. The host and producer of that show EP'd this. So getting to meet him and work with him as like one of my hosting idols was like, oh, I was like, my hands were sweating a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, I love the experience because I don't really interface with kids a lot mm -hmm. in general. Um, and that was really educational. I also just love and appreciate the hosting art form to a way bigger level as well as guidance counseling um, because I'm not a counselor, but a lot of times like, you know, with these like campfire sessions, they're dealing with a lot. They're under a lot of pressure. A lot of them, they had never been away from a phone. Oh, wow. For an extended I, yeah, period I've never of time. even thought. Yeah. That yeah has to be they've so never been away from the internet. They've never been away from their families. And the parents are actually like staying in a hotel an hour away. So they know like mom and dad are nearby. There's an emergency lever. Yeah. Yeah. But um, if you, if they use the emergency lever, they can't come back. Sure. Yeah. 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 God, that sounds awesome. It like, was, I would have loved to do something like that as a kid. It was amazing um, because like I grew up, like I love reality stuff. I love Survivor, Endurance, mm -hmm. Amazing Race, all those things. And then to get to host that, mm -hmm. oh my God, if there was amazing. A if you could be a contestant on a reality show, what do you think it would be? Would it be Survivor? I actually don't know about Survivor because I feel like I would do well in the physical part, but the social game stuff, now that we're like 40 seasons in, Side note, I'm really excited about season 40, the all winter <laughs> season. It's going to be great. Um, you know, after seeing Sandra win twice, come on, y'all. If Sandra won twice, how am I supposed to win? So that's how, that's my niche answer to that. But okay. I would love to do Amazing Race, but I'm kind of in this spot where like, I don't know if I'm allowed to be a participant now that I've like, because I know how everything works behind the scenes. I don't uh, know. You know okay. what I mean? Wait, how do you know? Oh, 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 you mean just because you've done this? Yes. 
Maybe. I don't think it should disqualify you. I mean, one of my, I mean, well, really thank you. The, the only, <laughs> I'm just backing you I'll up for everything that you want to do. <laughs> no, that's, uh, so one, that would be one that I would do. I also want, would want to do the challenge that I, on that's, MTV? that's my favorite yeah. garbage television show. They have, uh, we, I've talked to them about it before. Well, cause they're like casting new people now Yeah. for the, like the, well, I think one of the first times that, yeah. that, they, that they opened it up. That's right. Amazing. It'd be so amazing. Should I, I do it? You should do it. Yes. I had a meeting with them. A thousand. Well, depending <laughs> on the contract, a thousand percent. Are okay. you kidding me? Okay. Yes. Go in there. <laughs> just team up with CT. Okay. You, got, you just fucking marathon through. Oh my God. All right. All right. Got it. I yeah. I would love to do one of those. But also I think logistically about being away from the channel and stuff for like, That's you know, a month. Hurdle. Like I, I think I heard on another podcast you were on, you said you had like another hotel room set up for when oh, you were going to be that on was, Amazing Yeah, Race. that one was crazy. Yeah, that was, I would shoot the show in the morning uh, and then, yeah, we'd have to go through a number of interviews. That's, I'll always feel sad a little bit for, <laughs> I'm thankful that I didn't get through on that show because as I've said in past podcasts, I think my wife and I probably would not survive that experience <laughs> or it could bring us closer, but probably it would just bring out the, the worst versions of ourselves just because everyone that I've talked to that's done the show, they're like, oh no, you're like, you're always running on zero sleep. Uh, they're it's all, crazy. and you're being produced to a certain extent and, yeah, and with no sleep. Oh my God. Hungry. Uh, uh-uh. yeah. uh, uh, I need everything to be 90% for me <laughs> not to be the worst version of myself. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. And I, I felt so bad. Cause like all the kids are sleeping in a tent. I worked like, you know, three <laughs> or four hours a day. You're in a, you're in a I'm suite. in full hair and makeup. Like, living like I had a trailer on set in addition to like yeah. my own private cabin. They, they were very kind to me. So um, uh, aside from hosting shows uh, and, and kind of the series that you're working on now, what do you want to do in the next few years? What I would be like, the big thing I would love to do is be on an action show. So the reason I do all of these challenges is because originally I had some opportunities to do stunt work and I just wanted to expand my resume Um, so then I started just learning everything and hoping that, you know, if there's ever an ice skating TV show, I'll have a leg up because I've trained with an Olympic figure skater for two months. Sure. Um, there is one on Netflix. I'm available. (laughs) (laughs) Um, so yeah, that's because I, I grew up primarily doing theater and acting in addition to science fair, I guess. Um, and I, I love training for something. I love like just immersing my whole body, mind and spirit into something. And I, I, I like doing that with acting a lot too. Like a lot of some people for them, like discovering the characters, like writing their backstory for me, I'm like, how's this character physically set? Where, where do they breathe from? Where do they live? Like being in a Marvel show and getting to train for a scene, like a fight scene would be. (sighs) So that's the next one. Like uh, if there was another like rung on the ladder, that would be like, yeah. I would, I would grasp I mean, that lung and promptly retire. I mean, the MCU is going to exist for the, <laughs> it's going to keep going on for what? 40 more years. Yes. I so would love that. Plenty of opportunities. I would love that. Or, you know, I'm fine with DC too. That's fine. Marvel's cool. <laughs> DC's fine. <laughs> I'm not picky. Um, yeah, that's a big one for me. Like non YouTube. Um, another one for me is I would love to have an athletic wear fitness line. Mm hmm. Um, like more specialized merchandise would be a really big one for me. Yeah. I feel like those are the main ones. And then just like hosting a ton, um, and expanding my business as much as possible and being happy and buying a house and, you know, <laughs> all those things. Kids, you know? and I'd love to do a podcast as well. I, I feel like I, I just haven't yet, but I think I want to do one. You might've been doing one. You didn't realize. Yeah, maybe. 